How you grow consistently is number one, you don't rely too much on refis. You should never have more than 30% of your business on refis. You should treat it as gravy, as the cherry on top, not your mainstay, not your primary source of business. That way you can just put in the bank, put in the retirement fund, use it to buy investments, build your portfolio with it, but don't use it to you know feed the family with. Use it for bonus, freedom money, accelerate your financial freedom account money, but don't use it as your mainstay bread and butter. Now, what do you do instead? What you do instead is you get into the purchase market. Well, how do I do it that door? And how do I get into the purchase market? I don't like working with realtors. They don't give me that time of day. They just give me attitude. They're a pain in the ass. I don't want to work with realtors, Doran. What else do I do? Well, the reason why you don't like working with realtors is kind of like saying, I don't like having sex. It's probably because you're doing it wrong. It's not that realtors are a problem. It's that you're doing it wrong. You're doing it the hard way. So what doesn't work is getting a bunch of crap leads off the internet to try and feed these realtors a bunch of crap leads. Any smart realtor will tell you they don't need a bunch of shit leads from Facebook. That's not going to serve them to their best life. That's not going to serve them to working smarter versus harder. So getting a bunch of crap leads is not going to do it. And chasing them around, calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday is not going to do it. That's caveman style from the dark ages. That might have worked, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. It certainly doesn't work today. They're not going to pick up the phone. If they do, they're just going to hang up on you because they got better things to do than have a loan leech suck loans from them, right? With no value proposition. So that certainly doesn't work. And all these other, you know, methods, whether it be, you know, doing SEO on your website. Yeah, that's great. But that's like watching paint dry. You got to wait like, you know, six months to even start to see any kind of traffic on your website. And that's, again, a one pronged approach. We need a multi pronged approach. We need to have the most amount of business from the most amount of sources. So you're building stability through diversification. If you think about it, you can go and you can get leads off Google AdWords. You can get leads from promoting your website, driving traffic to your website, doing SEO on your website. You can get leads to doing social media, doing five posts a day, all that BS. You can do, you can get leads by throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks with cold calling. All that stuff works to some degree. The question is not what works. What is the golden question, the million dollar question, the question you want to be asking yourself is what is the shortest path to the cash? What's the shortest path to the cash to get to my income goals? And I'll tell you, it is and always will be working with top producing agents who make- If you'd like to learn more about how we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough coaching session at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. On the call, we'll give you crystal clarity on where you are now, where you want to be, and how you can get there faster, shortest path to the cash without messing around doing it the hard way. And if we can help you create that breakthrough, by all means, we will show you how. If not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, our goal for you is you leave the call with massive value and massive clarity. So go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply.